Hi, this is a minute of overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about why your budget just isn't big enough. Okay, so I just got back from a meeting with a client. I mean, in fact, lately we've been doing a lot of meetings with clients, or I've been doing a lot of meetings with clients. And because I work from home, that means I, I, I have to meet them someplace. And sometimes they work from home too. Sometimes they're individuals, uh, not necessarily companies. Sometimes they're companies that I could go visit them at their offices. That's cool. Uh, but most of the time it's in a coffee shop, mostly Costa. There's always there's always a Costa, right? But one thing I'm, I'm, I've noticed over the last year after meeting with all with so many different people is everybody says the same thing. Like, we'll, we'll sit down and talk for, for a few minutes. And then they'll say that this one key phrase, they'll say, I just want to tell you right now, uh, we don't have much of a budget. Right. So it, and it makes me laugh now because it's such a vague phrase like none of us, none of us have enough of a budget. Right. So, you know, you could be a, a company that has a budget of, say, say like 50 grand. Right. And that's not enough. Or you could be an individual and your budget might be a thousand or 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 500 or 200 or nothing. Right. And that's you know not enough. So, you know, regardless of where you are, your budget is not high enough. It's, it's almost like not even worth mentioning. Right. So it's, it all depends on on what you're trying to do and who you're trying to hire and that kind of stuff. But but I will tell you that some of the best work I've ever done in apps and in other in other places as well has been when there has been not much of a budget because you know because you know what happens when you don't have a budget you get really really creative sometimes it means um, you know opening you know getting a computer book uh, from the library if depending on how or, or buying one but depending on how how low your budget actually is uh, you know but I've done this so, you know go to the library and, and order a book because it's never in the you know in, in wantage so I have to order it from someplace else and, and learn a new tech a, a new coding language and, and kind of learn how it works and sometimes it's you know it's 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 learning there uh, you know getting their own and sometimes it might be um, you know, borrowing from people or or getting people, you know, getting friends to help you out and stuff like this uh, or or using um, open source systems as opposed to other things. But but you, the key here is that your budget shouldn't be that big of a problem because the, the less budget you have, the more creative, the more creativity you have to give to a problem. Right. It's everyone seems like they're kind of embarrassed about it. Said, oh, we don't have much of a budget. But the, but the thing is, it's, you know, none of us. I mean, if you have an, a limitless budget, you know, hey, well, give me a call because I'd like to talk to you. Right. But, you know, none of us has a budget. But, you know, and we're all working on the nice thing about apps or, you know, software in general now is so many tools are free. Right. If you have the time, you can you could dedicate the time to learning how to use those and actually do them yourself. Right. There's, uh, you know, and um, you, you, you have all these open source APIs. You have Google who releases things all the time. Right. Uh, but, the, the, you know, everybody has budget constraints. And, and when you start looking at some of the big players out there, when you look at when Facebook started, you know, they started with um, PHP and MySQL. Right, which are free open source uh, languages. So you know they could have gone and you know <laughs> I can remember from back in in those days, the early 2000s. Everybody says, oh, if you want you know big scale, you need to go with Oracle, which costs well. We can't even tell you how much it costs because it's that expensive. You have to talk to a salesperson, right? And if you look at Google, when Google started out, they didn't go for a big mainframe system. They started building Google Gear, which is uh, you know cheap uh, hardware, which they could put their own software on, and then that way they could keep rolling out all these different um, uh, Google, I think it's called Google Gear. Yeah, I think it's Google Gear, uh, which basically it's, the, you know, they linked all these uh, really inexpensive computers together in order to start building Google. So, they, you know, everybody has budgets. And because of these budgets, we start to get more creative with things, right? When you go out there and look to create your app, you know, and you start saying, well, I don't really have the budget to hire a designer that might mean that you need to learn how to do a bit of design yourself or maybe you know you could find a, a friend who, who knows how to do something like that or maybe you could you know like I do look overseas and see if you can find somebody right and if you don't if you need to hire a developer right you could try to do some of that stuff yourself it's, it's always trying to keep the cost low the, the thing about apps and I keep saying this over and over again is there's no such thing as a sure thing right no matter how much that somebody might promise you you know say oh this is going to make you a bundle it's you know they can't tell I mean, you know, nobody could tell. I can't tell every time we release a new app if it's going to be a success. So every app we release, we, we do it, you know, like I say, light and fast. We try to do it as inexpensively as possible with, um, you know, just the right amount of manpower and not more, just the right amount of budget and not more uh, and, and release things. So my message this week is 
if you don't have much of a budget, you know, don't say it with, you know, like like it's something wrong, right? None of us have much of a budget. And if we have a completely adequate budget, then there's something wrong with us. So that's it for this week. Uh, now, we released a new app this week called um, Morning, Noon, and Night, which is an interactive ebook. If you have a niece or a nephew or children, uh, go ahead and treat yourself to that. I'll leave the uh, link down in the, in the show notes. And we're also working on a really big app for, uh, for learning languages, uh, which uh, I'll talk about in a few weeks, but I'm really, really excited about it. Joey, our developer, is working on that at the moment. And uh, so, so look out for that. That's it. I'll talk to you next week. Hey, I really hope you like that video. Uh, now I do these once a week, so if if you if you want to hear more or you want to you know hear more about uh, our experiences with the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and please like this video and and leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I love hearing what you have to say, even if it's just hello or 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 whatever. And and like I say before. Um, if you if you're not sure what to, to say in a comment, like I never know what to say in a comment, I'll make it easier for you. Like if if you liked it, just go ahead and say gnarly, uh, which is an '80s term. Or uh, if you didn't like it, just say bogus. And and if you didn't think any of it, just say eh. Right. So and so that that would be a big 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 help. And and another thing you could do, uh, which I'd really appreciate it, if you're on the App Store and you want to try one of our apps, look up some of the Overpass apps uh, applications, either on iTunes or Google Play, and and leave a review and, and let us know what you think about it, either good or bad. But uh, you know, it, it's uh, we're all trying to you know build up in the market, so uh, so that would be a big help. So so that's it. I'll talk to you next week.